brought on bay by Lord Roustabout. When we left off, our character had just made his weapon a metal baton and was now contemplating his costume and theme as a hero. I had not given much thought to what my cape debut would be like. Sitting before the Celestial Forge had been so intimidating that he kind of assumed whatever I ended up with would create a self-evident identity. Well, now I kind of had one, but what identity was I going to go with? If we're out now, I'd be a derly, I'd be debuting as a highly durable, low-strength brute with a couple of pieces of nicely made equipment. That was a far cry from the technology hero I had been imagining. It was by no means a bad power set to have, but considering most of my other powers were going to be tinker-based, did I want to go with that? Not really, but I didn't know what I was going to end up with next. If I got another couple of support or utility powers before I landed something that let me start making high-tech items, would I be comfortable waiting around for whatever my first crafting power would be? Probably not. I didn't have the burning need to head out and seek out combat that some passengers created. All mine one was to complete the Celestial Forge. While that would normally make him risk-averse, there was better growth of my reach when I was active. It had sped up over the last week as I settled in my hero prep, and I had been getting faster, much re- much faster recently. I knew that getting active in the cape community would be my best bet for landing new powers. As I considered things, I felt my passengers' excitement as a constellation swung close. I closed my eyes and focused on it. It was the same constellation I'd failed to connect with my first attempt. This time, my power was strong enough that I shone to a moat as they flew past. Unlike last time, this took every ounce of my stored energy to secure the link. Finally, I had a connection and could tell what the constellation was. It was the Alchemy Constellation, and the moat I had connected to was Evermore Alchemist, with the connection made knowledge flooded into my mind. Specifically, knowledge of how to combine 22 mundane materials into N35 unique combinations that would produce instant effects on the level of parahuman abilities. I had not gotten a crafting ability, I had gotten a combo power of combo platter of superpowers. They were serious powers. Some of these could duplicate blast effects that were strong enough to maim, if not outright kill. I would need to be very careful about how I use them. The formulas were divided into light and dark alchemy, essentially offensive and defensive. The defensive formula had combinations that could be used to heal. Heal. I never. I was new to the cape scene and having. Panaka? Panakia? It's a word that means ultimate hill. In the same city, kind of skewed perception, but healing powers were incredibly rare. I'd read a theory that there were no healing powers, that all healing that happened was either a side effect or a creative application of another type of ability. That was definitely not the case here. I took a breath to calm myself down. This was something I would need to assess carefully. I had not been expecting maybe... I had been expecting maybe some kind of mechanical expertise with the plans for a set of ray guns or jetpacks. I was not expecting 35 new powers to be dropped on my lap. Actually, reviewing the nature of the former, it wasn't right to call them powers. There was a mechanism to this that was a lot more nuanced than most powers. I knew how to trigger based effects by combining regents, but there was an immense amount of space for improvement and refinement of technique. I would need to practice to be able to get the full potential of this ability. Fortunately, in most cases, the required regents are fairly common. There was one formula that required specifically built amulet, another needed a specific and obscure breed of pepper, but most of the rest could be managed with things like wax, water, vinegar, or grease. Some of that would be harder to find, but still relatively easy. Gunpowder was the only one that would be likely to raise red flags, and that was only needed for one formula, though that formula was a doozy. Ugh. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to head back. Uh, I'm going to stop here and head in my apartment. Uh, I'm recording outside right now in my car because I'm kind of loud. And it's 3 a.m. 
So thanks for listening. If anyone's even been listening. <laughs>